Hi, this is Steve, and I'm going to be showing you how to get Mario 64 set up for the Archipelago system. So, first thing you want to do is get onto the Archipelago site, select the option of supported games, and then we're going to go to Mario 64. From here, we'll have all the information such as the setup guide, the options, and just anything else that you may need. So, first things first, under the setup guide, we're going to need some software. Now, what you really are going to need is this SM64 AP launcher and then this MSYS site. I'll link both of those down below so that way you don't need to go all the way up here, but you're going to need to have those installed. First, I would recommend getting the MSYS installed because the AP launcher does require it later on. To do that, all you need to do is go to this site and click on this download installer. MSYS, whatever the hell, and bright orange. Click on that, it'll then download. Say boom, done. Double click on it. And it'll pop it, populate a page just like this. From here, you're gonna just follow the installation steps. One important thing to note, make sure you have it installed in a location where there are no spaces. If you put in your C drive, your D drive, your F drive, your Elemental P drive, that's fine. If you put it in a D drive and then a folder, that folder can't have any spaces. So it can't be C drive, my space computer, that's no good. If it's my computer, all one word, that's allowed. So it's basically just install, ask for a spot to do that, and go from there. Once that's all done, We'll then be able to go back here and get to this SM64 AP launcher. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select the option for Windows, because that's the machine that I'm using. That's the machine I'm gonna be able to show you a guide for. Click on Windows Zip. We're gonna see a nice, oop, try that again. We're gonna see a nice folder that looks a lot like this. What I'd recommend doing is saving it close to where you saved your other uh, file, your MIS file. But again, you don't have to. Once done, I would recommend making a new folder such as like Mario 64 Arc or whatever else you want to name it. Take all this and then you just drag and drop it into the folder. I already have it, so I'm just going to skip all those. And once that's done, you'll then want to launch the Mario, the Super Mario 64 launcher. This will then bring you up this little application right here. And now let's pretend that these don't exist. It'll be say, asking you for a new build. Actually, before that, it won't even let you get to this screen. It'll be asking you to confirm where your MSYS installation is, as well as to, in, as to check requirements, register your ROM, and just uh, double check your everything is A-OK. -okay. So to register your ROM, you would just click on that. Find where you have your game set. The so mine I have, all in a different folder. Find that game, boom. It'll prompt you with, hey, your game's registered. You're good to go. So then just do a quick check on requirements. Everything will be good to go. Now, if whenever it's like, hey, you need to reinstall dependencies or install, install dependencies, I'm going to just let this run while we talk about it. It may ask you stuff like, hey, yes or no. Let it keep running. Let it keep going. Should this step fail, all you need to do is just rerun it. Sometimes it has a bad run. Sometimes it doesn't grab all the information correctly needed. So if you just let it rerun again, it should be able to get through no problem. This is where a bunch of people have been running into some issues. So again, all you need to do is just let it run. I'm now probably going to do a nice little fast forward waiting for this to be fully done myself. Five minutes late, yeah. All right. So let's say like similar to that, everything is installed correctly. Perfect. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is now show you 
a nice little thing. What we're going to do is we're going to select the option to compile a custom build. From here, it should automatically give this link as a repository file for the archipelago and also grab the archipelago branch. So then select browse, find where you're going to have your archipelago files go to. I did not properly set this up. So one moment while I just quickly grab the correct location. I like to have it within that archipelago file and just has have it as like a games here file. So we're going to put it in here in this folder games here. And we're going to call that example fancy build. We're going to download files, let that run. This will be no different than from which if you do a standard build, the difference is going to be when it comes to setting the flags. We're going to be grabbing this line of text here, J A better camera equals one, no drawing distance equals one. I'm going to let the files to be properly downloaded. Should this it should this crash, all you need to do is just fully the close out of the program, relaunch it, and give it another go. Again, we're not yet setting the flags. All we're doing is we're downloading the files from the GitHub repository. The GitHub repository is listed at the top of the instructions page here. This cloning and building MMS 64 EX in this Newbly Kings GitHub. Once it says repo is downloaded successfully and you're able to add this with this stuff, if you have a US region of um, the game, that's where you would select. Copy and paste it so that way it ends with better camera, no draw distance. And then you'd select the option of first apply patches. This will have this will have these options as available. 64, better movement, non-stop mode always enabled. Select open. It'll then prompt you again. Hey, everything's a-okay. Should be good to go. Then hit create build. Create and build is again one of those parts that might take a little longer. All you need to do is just let it go. Do what it needs to do. Five minutes later. All right, build was successful. And look at that example fancy build. And I'll ask for the name and the port number. Now I'm going to go over to the supported games list option. Just make it like a name Steve, just for something simple. Feel free to go through like all the options where you're able to set up like, hey, how accessible you want to be. You want to set up death link. What's the end goal? Being the last battle stage, all the battle stages. Enable 100 coin stars on. Randomizer for like where the courses are. Cap requirements, abilities being restricted, stuff like that. <clears throat> Going to generate a little room. And how it works is place a name, <coughs> replace the name with whatever category name is, port, you're going to replace with numbers, 51165. Once that's all set, you'll be then able to go. No questions asked. Now, if you are in a room where the host has set up a password, if you just scroll down here, just double check in here, there'll be an option of just setting it. Oh, double check in here. It should have an option for your password. Ah. 
we'll check in exactly where it is. Here it is. So under the join multi-world game, you would then have this line here. SM64 AP password, your password. Your password being where it is. Also, if your name or the password has spaces, you will need quotation marks. So it'll be quotation your name or quotation your password with spaces in between. But now that I have all that set, play selected build. And look at that. Mario's up. It's running. And making sure that you guys can hear the game A OK. Look at Mario go. Look at him go. He's having a grand old time. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. You'll be able to select whatever world. And there you go. You'll know, it'll give you an error message if you're not properly connected. It'll be saying connection, connection, connection. And now, how you change your controls. If you have a controller plugged in, you hit start and then hit R for options. This will allow you to change all the settings, such as how it's displayed, the controls themselves, oh, the audio sound, and how to quit the game. You'll also be able to log in here, showing that you were able to get connected successfully. Now, should you not be properly set up? Hello. It will show this connecting option, just, just connecting, connecting, connecting. But with that, I hope you all have a good day, good night, good whatever the time it is. Please let me know in the comments if this is able to resolve any questions that you may have. And if you are running into any problems, please feel free to put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as quickly and as much in a timely manner as I can. Bye-bye.